Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Today I'm going to share with you how to make murg do piazza or chicken do piazza. And for this I have taken two large sized onions. And I have cut them finely as you can see. And I have taken two pounds of um, boneless chicken. And I have taken a liter of water in which I'm going to boil everything together. And I've taken half of this large a green chili which is equal to about two small to medium two to three small and medium sized chilies and I'm going to let it boil I'm gonna add a tablespoon of salt and I will let it boil for about 20 to 25 minutes after 20 to 25 minutes my chicken will have come apart it is frozen right now but I have washed it thoroughly earlier on and I have placed it in the freezer but uh, I'm going to just toss it into the boiling water and it will come apart and see the only thing right now I'm, I would like to add is salt and a bit of pepper and these are the only two spices that we are going to be using while making morg do piazza or chicken do piazza you don't need any other spices in this recipe that is the most closest to heart the most authentic recipe if you add spices, it would give it an Indian touch. It will not make the exact authentic recipe. So first, what we are going to do is we are going to boil these things all together for about 25 to 30 minutes or maybe 40 minutes as well if you think that your frozen chicken is losing a lot of water. So the water can add up. Our purpose is to reduce the water and as you can see now this is 15 to 20 minutes after it has been boiling so I'm gonna check up on it and I'm gonna move it a little bit here and there and then I'm gonna leave it for another 10 to 20 minutes and then check up on it So it's been 30 minutes now and I'm going to add some oil and now I'm going to open my can of chopped tomatoes. These, these chopped tomatoes, chunky chopped tomatoes, they don't have their peel and that's uh, what saves a lot of time. So I'm going to use this half of this can I'm going to use which is equal to roughly a cup of uh, chopped tomatoes if you like to use it at home and let's say that would be around six medium sized tomatoes if you peel them and then you puree them and then you use them at home so already you can see it has becoming it has started to become something beautiful but I'm going to cook it now on a high flame and reduce the water till the oil comes to the top. So this is going to take another 30 to 40 minutes and a lot of patience. So I'm going to let it cook and I'm going to be checking up on it and mixing it every now and then so that it doesn't stick to the bottom. At this point, I'm going to add two large onions, again sliced finely. And 
and I will let it cook now till everything is dissolved in a nice and fine manner that is to say that oil has come on top of everything and the water is considerably reduced so I'll cook it and then I'll show you the final look and then we'll be garnishing it with coriander You can see here how beautifully our chicken do piazza has changed color. This is the final product. And this is the very final product with the garnish. It's a treat to the eyes and it's a treat to the tummy. I can't wait to try it and I hope that you guys would also try it and give me a feedback. And you guys would love it and will make it again and again. I assure you that. That's a guarantee. See how beautifully that has transformed. So this is your chicken do piazza. <laughs>